Good morning, friends. Welcome to the vlog. Today is Ella's very first day of school. It's time to get ready. Right there. Perfect. Now show me your first day of school smile. Look at mommy. <gasps> Ella, look at mommy. Cheese. Look at me. Oh, texture. Today is the first day of the rest of your life, though. Your first day of school. Ella, we are so excited. Are you so excited? Nervous? Yes, I'm freaking out. Ella, you excited? No, Daddy, I love you. Ella, I love you. I love you, Dad. You know, it's nerve-wracking and scary just because of our prior experiences, but we are so happy and lucky and blessed as they walk away. Whew, we'll get Lauren's reaction when she comes back. I'm a... Uh, I'm fighting back tears. <laughs> Just, it's surreal. It's good tears. It's, you know, it's like the next step. So, <laughs> excuse me while I cry a little bit. Oh. She just went in and she didn't say bye. Yeah. It makes me so sad. It does. It, it's not sad and bad. It's no. just, you know. Look at all these kids. We are by ourselves. We are. It's so weird. They got to see me almost cry on film. It's just, it's not sad, it's great. No, it's like happy tears. That's what I said to him. You know, it's like a culmination of things we've been working towards for. Ever. Yeah. Because we, a lot of you, if you don't know, we were trying to get Ella into JSA. Mm -hmm. um, that would involve a move and a lot of factors, but that is what we've always been working towards since we found out about JSA. Mm -hmm. And um, this is just, it's home and yeah. safe and small and perfect and, and the, just. And the great thing is too, I mean, it's, we were driving almost two hours, not two hours, but like an hour a day. An hour get, there and an hour back. Well, no. no it, half hour. An hour traveling to drop her off because you it's a right. half hour there, half hour back, and then an hour to pick her up every day. So I guess it was two hours. Yeah, commuting traveling. was a big part of our day when Ella was in full-time clinical ABA. Yep. And it was great because it did it served its purpose. She did wonderful and she gained a ton of life skills yes. and that's how we've gotten to this point. Yep. Ella wouldn't be able to do this without all the hard work she put into at Bass and all of our hard work of, you know, commuting for that many years. And it's just exciting for me too because she's gonna, she has a curriculum. Like she, she has, does. She has different subjects she'll be learning about and she likes to learn about things. I hope, I know she'll be in good hands and I just hope she's not too nervous. She did say she was nervous, but I just hope her nervousness goes away and that she just gets excited and transitions really well yeah and I know we were nervous because of prior experiences and just being home with her for so long that now it's like what do we do what do we do yeah. <laughs> what do we do yeah I don't know what to do with my <sighs> Ella I know you're watching this we are so proud of you we are very proud and you're gonna do so good babe <laughs> I'm too pregnant bad for this <laughs> She's gonna do great. She is. All right, you ready to take on our day? I what do we am. do? What do we do? Well, you have chiropractor. I have, I have a chiropractor ten. commitment. I have to go see my barber before he leaves town. And we have some work to do. And we do have work to do. I also, don't judge me, I got a hash brown. I didn't get anything. I'm no, we didn't. It. There's one hash brown in here and it's for me. In my defense, I only got a hash brown, okay? I'm sad. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good news is, at least I have something to do instead of just holding my breath until two o'clock. I have to go to the chiropractor. I go twice a week, if you're new here. I am pregnant and I go, I go to the chiropractor twice a week to help me prepare to deliver and to just alleviate any kind of aches and pains. I am so anxious. Ella's, I'm sure, totally fine but 
it's just so weird after having her home for six months to like not have her to take care of. She's a full-time job. Wee! But the good news is I got my work done. John got his work done. So we literally have the day to uh, hold our breath. <laughs> I got my paint swatches and I'm picking up John so we can hit the grocery store and grab a few things. I'm gonna give you guys a little peek, but I'm gonna hang them on the wall so I can get the vibe. But this is ultimately the vibe. Like, how are you gonna honk at me and then not have the door open? What kind of Uber is this? <laughs> hey, five star rating only. Still haven't heard anything about our girl. I'm assuming Lauren's no news. Lauren's freaking is out <laughs> in case anybody didn't notice. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. You want to drive and I'll hold it? Yeah. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. She's fine. I'm fine. I'm doing yeah. great. <laughs> I know. I walked in and they're like, it's for sweet Ariel. It's her first day. And I'm like, ah! Uh. ah. The longer the time passes, the more comfortable I feel. Right. Makes sense. Um, because the first school that we ever dropped her off at was like a real preschool. Right. And this is before pre-diagnosis, pre-everything. Yeah. This is actually what sparked all of that. Exactly. Um, we got a call within like 45 minutes to yeah. get her. And that she was a baby. She was like and, barely three. And luckily I took the day off that day from yeah. work so I could be there. That was just the one of the worst days of my entire life. Yeah. So I always revert back to that even though it's been five years almost since that yeah, day. it doesn't look good. Yeah, right? I think we're going to get some rain. I think so. It's rain. I think so. And welcome. then the group chat. Welcome to Florida. Like our group chat right now, like all of our friends are in different phases of life with their little ones. Like Ab Isaiah's in college. Yep. Abby's a teenager. She's in what, her sophomore year of high school. Mm -hmm. um, like everybody's just going through, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm starting all over again, which right. is crazy. I look pregnant. No, you don't. You're actually skinny now, which is nice. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We're just all in different phases of life and like all of our kids are growing up so fast and like Ella's in school. Like we, I never, I know, I knew this day would come. I would, ho I hoped it would come, but I just didn't know it would come so soon. I thought it was really far away. Yeah. And I mean, which it's not that soon. It, I, mean, I was going to say, we, we literally, this is something we worked for forever. So for me, it's like, oh, it's finally here. I know. So it's excited, nervous, and almost a breath of relief yeah, that this, we've reached this point. I know because we worked so hard with ABA therapy for right. two, two and a half years, 40 yep. hours a week to get to this point. Like yeah. that's what the whole goal was. This so, is just everything we've ever worked for. It is. And here's some, one of the bright spots. We haven't been able to go to the grocery store together in... <laughs> Since Ella's been home. Well, we prepared, remember when the pandemic first started, yeah. everybody was panic shopping. We bought all, like a whole drugstore worth of medicine. We did. That's the last time we went together. A vaporizer. Which is. And goods. Which is still sitting in the closet. It's serious. We didn't, we haven't touched, touched the medicine cabinet. Nothing. No. So it's if you ever so need wild. medicine, we have a ton. No kidding. It's just so wild. Like the difference between then and now. Yeah. So just to fill everybody in, Lauren has now panicked five times. Her phone rang twice and she panicked right away. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh-huh. I'm not fine. Nope. I need an update. Even if they don't update us the whole day, we'll be just fine. Calm I, down. I know. I know that. They're, she's in good hands. I yeah. know that. But like... I know nothing. Even when Ella's with our my mom. Yeah. I'm checking in. Lauren is the. Uh, I'm a helicopter. Yeah. I hover, man. I, oh yeah. Oh, like right over you. Like no air. Nope. I'm suffocating. Like she does it to me too. I don't mean to be that way. It's, I am an anxious person. Yeah. And I love with like literally my soul. Honestly, guys, if I was 15 minutes late coming home from work. Worst Where case. are you? What are you doing? Are you alive? Are you breathing? Worst case scenario. Like, he must have had an accident and everything is gone to him. I do have to give you props. Like, yesterday you weren't even worried. And, like, I'm on the bike, like, five miles away from home and the storm's closing in. Well, I did. I texted you. I said, uh, the weather. Yeah. 
um, but you didn't like text me 50 other times. Well, like, you can't text when you're riding a bike. Well, I had the watch, so I was like, I didn't want you, I didn't want to distract you on your bicycle, but I worry about you even then. I'm like, what if somebody like hits them? So, <laughs> if somebody hits me, good luck to their car. I know, no kidding. I don't think they're gonna go very far, but I'm fine. I'm just, I, I don't know. You're just an anxiety ridden mess. It's who you are. I have been totally chill through this whole pregnancy. My anxiety has not been bad, but like it's her first day. Yeah. And I just, I'm wondering how she's doing. You know? Yeah. That's, that's all it really is. You guys, we got an update. She's doing awesome, they said. Well, the word was great, but there we go. She's doing great. How was your day, Bubba? Tell us about your day. What did you do? What did you do? Did you have so much fun? Did you play outside? She just needs a little time to decompress. Yep. She needs a little time to decompress, but I talked to Miss Amy. She had a really good day, especially for you know being out for six months um, and not doing anything. She had one moment, a little downish thing, and they got through it, and they're gonna work on some um, tolerance training for some videos and stuff that would make that make her upset but overall they said she did really 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 good and we are so proud of you i think she's exhausted probably it's the vibe i'm getting are you tired are we too? let's go home okay we're gonna go home we're gonna go get your pizza okay get your pizza she's had a day not a bad day just a day well she's tired it's that back to school it's a lot, isn't it, Elle? Ella is not interested in the slightest in talking to us right now, um, which this is not something we didn't expect. We fully expected this. Uh, we had this when we did ABA therapy. She's had a day and it's her first day back to doing anything structured, especially something new. In six months, she wants to decompress, so that's exactly what she's doing. Um, but they do send home every day a folder and inside of it is kind of telling us about her day and like how she did. And she overall had a really, really good day. She had a great day today. I worked on writing, small group, and math. Um, today when learning, it said I got it. I ate all of my food, which she ate the Lunchable, but all the other things she didn't eat, which is fully expected. Hi, babe, look, we're going over your folder for the day. Sorry guys, you're not gonna get a bunch out of her. <laughs> It, it doesn't make me, it kind of makes me sad only because we've been home with her for so long and listening to her nonstop for right. days and weeks. So I could get a little emotional because she does not want to talk to me right now. But I know that's like to be expected. Yeah, you know? I think it's honestly a temporary thing. I mean, she's got to get used to it. Yeah, you definitely, we changed her routine. She's got new stimuli coming in. It's a lot for her to adjust to, and that sucks because it makes me feel bad not it's like not bad fault, no and nothing. it's not anything bad either it's just yeah. an adjustment she did have a meltdown which sucks um but at least i guess they got it out of the way the first day yeah and they're gonna work on it and she didn't seem i mean amy was great about it she didn't seem like it was the end of the world so that's nice it's just an emotional a day i think for everybody and it's gonna be an adjustment but overall it's gonna be all really good and seeing this and seeing how great her day was overall was good is good also we have to fill out emergency information this is some nice card stock that must be why we had card stock on the list Maybe. this is nice some thick paper i am very pleased with how she did and i got there's a really cool app that they use where i got pictures of her today and uh i think it's gonna go really well it's been very emotional <laughs> reporting live <laughs> the video is not over gotcha oh i look crazy just because i just gave ella a bath um we've made some progress i was a little sad because she wasn't talking to us and like had to decompress and i needed to remember i needed to remember that's what she needs to do after a day um she needs to stim and get it all out and just feel better and she did so in the bath she was telling us all about school and it was the most precious thing I've ever heard in my life. She was so happy. Um, she did talk about her hard moment, but she, I, I guess they gave her headphones That's to help. I'll ask. Well, they you did pack those headphones. I did. 
and it was really sweet like she was like and you have headphones and you don't say i hate videos you say i don't like videos <laughs> it was just really sweet to watch her brain process the whole day and she just had so much fun and like she's asking to go tomorrow and yeah. day three and day four <laughs> and day week five two, <sighs> it's literally all we could dream of and i know that this might not last forever and we'll have moments where she's not gonna wanna go to school just like anybody else, but like, when you have, you send a child who is limited verbally on like communication, like what they can tell you, um, it's so comforting to hear her be so happy. <sighs> I feel so relieved and emotional. It's very emo. And in the bath, she's just like washing, she's like wash off all my school germs. She's just such, she feels, she feels confident. Like she's a big girl. You just get the vibe, right? Yeah. Like she's just like, I am Ella, like I go to school now. So I just wanted to like end it there. Um, I was a little emo. I just, I missed her and I don't know. It was just an emotional day, but overall really good. And I don't know, it's just a really good day. I hope you guys had a really good day too. We'll see you in the next one. Bye friends.